It's Mets Hot Stove presented by Geico. Gary Apple sitting alongside a couple of guys who are key members of this Mets squad. It's the captain, David Wright, Michael Kadire. Good to be with you guys. Good, Good to be with you. Thanks for the, having us. The pride of Chesapeake, Virginia. What, what, what's it like? You guys grew up together, not too far apart. What's it, what's it like to have your, yeah, your childhood? Too. Yes. <laughs> 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 what's it like to yeah. have him in camp? Yeah. Uh, it's been great. It yeah. really has. Uh, you know, Mike came down. Um, you know, in the middle of uh, the training during the off season, spent a week down here, and uh, um, you know, just love love hitting with him. I right. mean, the guy can just flat out hit, and uh, you know, any chance I get to spend some time in the cage with him, and uh, you know, track him a little bit, um, you know, I've picked up some things, and and hopefully uh, will help me this year. And you've told the story once once the season ended, that phone call came from this guy to get you here. Yeah, no, it was great. I mean, obviously, somebody that's as respected as David, and somebody that. I, that I look to and respect as well. Uh, to be able to get a phone call right after the season was, I mean, I think we may have been walking off the field when I have that voicemail or that text from him. Um, that now that the off season has, has, has begun, that uh, I'm going to officially start the recruiting process. It made, makes you feel good. Yes. And fortunately, as the off season progressed, things worked out. You were both coming off seasons in which you, you had significant injuries. Let's begin with you on this, Dave. How, how's your shoulder? Shoulder feels great. I mean, the, the, the biggest thing I can say is I'm you know, not restricted at all. You know, I'm going around and doing the same things that everybody else in camp is doing, and that's exactly what I wanted coming into spring is um, to go out there and, and just be one of the guys and, and do all the drills that everybody else is doing. So um, mission accomplished so far. And what about you, Mike, coming off a couple of significant injuries, the hamstring and the shoulder? Yeah, for me, it was great. It, I feel great. And for me, it was nice. I was actually able to play the last month in September to prove to myself I was healthy, prove to everybody else I was healthy. Uh, and, and no restrictions at all, and I was able to have a normal off season, which I think is what you look forward to going into the off season is getting the rehab stuff out of the way, so right. you can go out and fully, fully prepare for the next season. You got a chance to stand in there against Matt Harvey, mm -hmm. his first live BP session on this Monday. What, what, uh, what did you see from him? It looked excellent. You know, everybody asks, you know, how's the ball coming out? And to be completely honest with you, I'm not, uh, not so sure. I mean, it's the first couple of days of us picking right. up a bat. But the biggest thing I got out of it was just seeing his personality come through. You know, he takes the mound, seeing him smile, seeing him grin a little bit because uh, it's nice for him to um, kind of accomplish the fact that he's done with his rehab and now go out there and take the mound and pitch against hitters. So he's competing against hitters again, not uh, his health and, and so much attention on Matt here in camp and, and you Mike had a chance to stand in against Noah Syndergaard mm -hmm. what was your take he's got quality stuff I mean first of all he's this big monstrous guy out on the mound right. with a funny look at you and uh, you know he's got he's got some intimidating body mechanics he's got some intimidating stuff he's got good off speed he's, he's going to be a bright a bright spot in our few, not too distant future. What about the the new hitting coach Kevin Long? What sort of impact is he having on you so far? Well, I've really enjoyed it. Just uh, little small things here and there, uh, and a guy like that, you know, he walks into the clubhouse. He obviously has the respect of the clubhouse for what he's accomplished uh, across town with the Yankees. Um, you know, and and throughout. Um, knowing Curtis Granderson, he's always spoke glowingly uh, of Kevin, and, and, and Kevin's really backed that up so far this spring. You know, I got a chance to work with him a little bit this off season. Um, you know, and just the the work that he puts into his job, the passion that he has for hitting, uh, really comes across uh, when you have a conversation with him. And then, you know, he knows his stuff. How important is good chemistry to success on the field? Well, what I think chemistry does is it helps you get through the grind of a 162 game season. You know, you, you can't just go through the motions and the monotony of, of major league baseball and it's groundhog day every day right. so you have to be able to have chemistry to, to rely on and fall back on you have to have strong relationships and trust with your teammates and that all comes with authenticity you have to be yourself you can't fake it you can't be somebody different because we as professionals and as men can see through that really quickly and uh, you always want to be around somebody that's authentic not somebody who's just posing for for a uh, you know, for sake of doing it. Sure. What's your take on that, David? Yeah, the same. Um, you know, I think that when you put quality people around one another, the guys that are, are, are selfless, um, when you go out there with the idea of playing for the guy next to you um, and, and, and attaining that common goal of winning, um, you know, I feel like uh, the process is obviously a lot more fun. Um, you know, and when I know that the guy to my right, the guy to my left is going to have my back, um, it obviously makes the game that much more enjoyable, and I think uh, you know you become one, you become a unit. How does this year's spring training, just a few days in here, but how does it feel different than spring trainings of the past? Well, I think that um, you know in that clubhouse, uh, the expectations I think are high, and you know I don't say that in a cocky, 
uh, way. I think it's uh, more confidence. You know, I think that, you know, you look up and down our roster, you know, years past, there's been, you know, some question marks where what if we do this? What if we do that? Well, this year, a lot of those question marks have been answered with guys that have had success in the big leagues. Uh, guys that have gone out there and, and answered those questions. So coming into this camp, I think it's more of a, you know, we know a lot more of what we have. Uh, we know what guys' roles are going to be on the team. And, um, you know, guys are confident because of that. We heard Terry Collins say that he expects that you most likely are going to be in left field as opposed to right field. What's your take on it? Uh, that's fine. You know, he, he obviously talked to me before he came up to that with that decision and whatnot. And, for me, you just be an athlete. I think that's what I take more pride in than anything in any way is being a baseball player, not just being labeled as a right fielder or a first baseman or a hitter, so to speak. It's it's being a baseball player. I take great pride in that. And what that entails and the definition of that is being able to go out and play baseball. And right. that's wherever the manager puts you, whether it's in the lineup or whether wherever you put you in the batting order, you go out and you do your best.